Hey there, Booters. My name's Justin. I grew up in Pittsburgh, and about five years ago, I moved to the greater Chicago area. Right around that same time, I got my first dog, and while it was ex extremely exciting being a dog owner in the city to a new city, it had its challenges. Um, my dog was a working breed, and it seemed like the three walks a day I did for him were just not enough. Um, he has endless energy, still to this day. So one day I got a bike because that's the best thing to do in the summer. Um, and I put two and two together and I thought, what? Well, let's get him the exercise he needs because I can't give it to him on foot, maybe on a bike. Well, it turns out it works. He absolutely loves it. And today I want to teach you guys, if you're a dog owner, how to use your bike, especially in the Chicago summer, to get your dog the adequate exercise he wants because we all know a tired dog is a happy dog. So check it out. Okay guys and gals, we got the necessities down, but now we're going to have to learn how to do this thing. Um, there's going to be a few things we need to do. The first thing is we need to get the bike started with the most chance for success. This means the most power because once you control the bike, you control the dog. But you cannot control the dog without controlling the bike. The second is going to be navigation. Um, in, especially in an urban environment, sometimes you have to make turns left and right. Um, stopping, things of that nature. The toughest of those is going to be the right hand turn. Let me tell you why. Because you're going to want to ride your dog on the right side of your bike if you're facing forward uh, with traffic. So that way he is closest either to parked cars or to the sidewalk which keeps him out of danger um, as well as keeps you in control because the biggest danger is going to be cars passing you on your left. So, as you can imagine, the right-hand turn will be the toughest because you're leaning into the dog's direction. So you have to make sure he doesn't get caught as you turn um, in that direction. And we'll show you how to do it. It's very easy. But uh, first things first, you need to actually get some practice uh, going on a straightaway without very much traffic and get the control of the dog. Let's do that. <laughs> 